Mr. President, uh, honourable members of the European Parliament, the European Union is closely following the political and human rights situation in Bangladesh. The European Union recognises the immense development and economic gains that the people of Bangladesh have made since their country became independent more than 50 years ago. But the European Union is also aware of the narrowing political and civic space in Bangladesh, the stifling of the freedom of expression and the obstacles presented to political and civil society leaders, such as the leadership of the human rights organization, ODICAR. The European Union remains concerned over the reports of extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances in Bangladesh. The European Union joins the United Nations calls for an independent mechanism to investigate enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings. Bangladesh should also allow a visit by the United Nations Working Group on Enforced Disappearances. Elections in Bangladesh are due by January 2024. The European Union encourages all stakeholders to work towards an inclusive election process, which should be credible, transparent and peaceful, and allow voters to freely cast their votes. The European Union encourages stakeholders, including institutions, political parties and civil society, to work together to build confidence in the electoral process. It is crucial to safeguard key freedoms, such as the freedom of expression and freedom of assembly. Freedom of expression is key to creating a culture of accountability, to creating a society where no one is afraid to denounce cruelty and corruption. Bangladesh is finding its place on the world stage, taking the lead on issues such as climate change, and development. At the start of the year, Bangladesh joined the United Nations Human Rights Council, securing 160 votes, the largest share of the Asian candidate countries. But with the membership of the United Nations Human Rights Council comes a responsibility to uphold high human rights standards. The upcoming Human Rights Council's Universal Periodical Review of Bangladesh in November 2023 will be an important occasion to show progress in addressing the human rights issues mentioned here. Thank you also on behalf of High Representative Vice President Josep Borrell. Thank you.